don't always see the night. They say they want a real one. They say they want a real one to make them feel yo. Hey yo, what's good family? Welcome back to Astro Nori for another video. So today we're gonna be covering Supreme Week 12, I believe we're on, for SS19, obviously. This week's gonna be highlighted by the pool queue, which is honestly a fire ass piece, but the retail on it, I feel like is gonna be pretty high, and that's gonna scare some people away, which is honestly not a bad thing, cause when it comes to this type of piece, I would honestly rather somebody who plays pool on the regular to get it, cause that's something that they'll actually end up using. And it's a fire ass accessory, but I don't really wanna waste too much time if you do end up enjoying this video go ahead and leave a like down below subscribe to the channel if you are new and would enjoy more of this type of content also go ahead and click the gleam link at the top of the description if you want to enter in this supreme kermit canvas giveaway i feel like i haven't been talking about this canvas a lot but this is a fire ass piece shout out to grail gallery give them a follow as well for making this possible right here but let's go ahead and get straight into this video so like i was saying before this week is highlighted by the pool cue so i'm gonna just go ahead and talk about it a little bit the pool cue is kind of a collaboration with mcdermott or something like that i don't know what their stance is when it comes to pool cues but from what i saw in those prices this is probably going to be towards that 400 price point and that's a little bit too steep for a pool cue like i can't see myself wearing that shit i would rather keep that money get the travis scott's i still have hope that the shits are gonna go 600 700 i know the trav ones went up to like a thousand after they sold out but they actually started going back down down again they're like at 850 in my size which isn't too bad but i'm waiting for that 7 600 i've seen some listings for 750 already i'm trying to get my hands on these shits instead of a pool cue to be honest but the pool cue is lit don't get it twisted i'm gonna probably put like a little clip right here of them using it it's super clean bro you cannot go wrong with it and it would be a fire ass piece to have but we about to get off that there is like a playboy collaboration this week and if i could be more honest with y'all these shits is ass bro like the playboy collaboration right here is not the one like they did the jacket i believe earlier this season that was way better than this right here like this is that bowling shirt situation and i don't feel like they pulled it off in the right way the shorts are okay but the branding is literally this small and it's just not worth it in my opinion i feel like you could find something way better for the price that you would pay for this right here it low-key looks like this doesn't have any supreme branding at all which would probably get this shit confused with the playboy pack sun collab and it's just not worth it to pay a high ass price point for something that it just i don't know bro shit is ass like there's no other way i could put it we do got these two hats right here the racing hat and the toy uzi six panel which i feel like was supposed to release last week and it didn't both these hats right here equally ass i'm trying to tell y'all these shits are cheeks bro there's literally a whole bunch of nah action going on with these hats right here these kind of remind me of like some old four type vibes with the big ass pants and these colorful hats that's what this is right here you probably could have found these shits in the bins for ten dollars at models but we about to go ahead and leave that shit right there just for y'all we got this wash 12 shirt y'all know how i feel about these shirts the shirts be ass like the vast majority of the time it's just not worth it bro but this one does have a classic logo right there if you're in the market for like a higher like a streetwear button up shirt this might be cool for you honestly the classic logo isn't bad i do have a feeling that it's probably sewn in which is another good touch but it's just not enough to pull me in to buy a button-up shirt mind you that's just not my style to begin with so i'm off this shit before i'm even on the shit like i don't know but it's just not my type of steez but we do got these gore-tex pants which are gonna be dropping with a jacket as well the set is gonna be dropping in four different colorways we got a red and white a blue and red an olive and white and then we got like this black and white colorway in my opinion the olive isn't bad if it was like a lighter shade of olive i probably would have freaked with it a little bit more the giants colorway it could stay right there to be honest the red is probably the best one when it comes to this as far as the whole supreme situation goes there's gonna be no resale on this the retail price is probably gonna be steep on it as well because it is gore-tex i could see 228 minimum on these pants right here we got this hoodie tee i don't know this is another one of those porcelain ones but the dudes at least is covered up you feel me it's not on some extra weird man shit this is actually more passable if i must say so but it's just still not me like it's not my style bro so i'm gonna go ahead and skip on this one but the t isn't all that bad i feel like the price on it should be around that 98 
98 to 100 type deal and that's not gonna happen on this side of the water bro we do got this rib stripe crew neck right here this one has the whole supreme team 94 all the way at the bottom cuff of the sweater which is something that you don't typically see and i feel like that makes this piece unique but i don't feel like it's gonna be a banger it's just not something that's over the top or that some people are gonna pay extra market for i just don't see it but it is a pretty cool piece and a dope concept because it's different it's just different i don't see shit like this on the regular but still ass i'm about to go ahead and go to the next piece that peach colorway isn't too bad though honestly i still wouldn't wear it but shit this persistence of memory button up is low-key the biggest vibe this week i'm not gonna lie the orange colorway is summer as hell pink one is actually gonna be worth a lot down the line mark my words bro because if these shits go up in the future i'm gonna remember to bring this clip up the pink one is gonna be worth money down the line i'm gonna probably be forced to skip on that we did talk about the playboy zip up top it's zip up too they they're bugging son we covered this gore-tex court jacket the toy uzi hooded sweatshirt hooded sweatshirt is supposed to come out this week as well in like six or seven colorways honestly i don't really like the design on a sweatshirt it's just it looks a little bit off to me but this greenish emerald color is so fire on this hoodie right here it's just one of those vintage colors that you don't really see too often and hopefully i want to see it on another piece this season that actually calls my attention this right here is just another hoodie in my opinion i'm not gonna go for it nor stress not getting it this it's cool the emerald colorway is fire and that coffee color is fire as well but next up we got probably my favorite piece dropping this week that's accessible to me type shit the molotov kid skateboard this one was something that i spoke about way at the beginning of the season i feel like this one is so clean i don't know which color i would go for probably the black one just to offset all the colors but this one is so fire i could definitely see me putting this up in my room but when it comes to pieces like this it's like damn do i want to spend that bread just for something that's going to be hung up right there or do i want to get a piece that i'm gonna actually freak but this one is going to come out in three different colorways that emerald dish green once again we got a pink and we got the black one personally i'm feeling the black one way more because like i said it offsets all the rainbow witch colors that are already on this piece hopefully them shits are sitting and they don't sell out right away so i could look around before i try and go ahead and get them shits i don't even know we got these leisure shorts which is the playboy shorts once again ass bro it's just not my steez we got this front keychain i don't know if y'all remember but one of the skaters from supreme i forgot his name my bizzle but he did get the actual grill which is fire bro if i could find a picture i'm gonna throw it up right here for y'all but he got the actual supreme grill and it looks crazy i just honestly wish that the fangs weren't fangs like if the shit was just flat all throughout that should be so hard but it's still pretty clean this is the keychain obviously and i feel like the grills was probably either a friends and family or a one of one next up we do got this new york painted trucker jacket low key this is another one of those banger pieces in the blue colorway it goes crazy so does the black one honestly the black one makes the thing pop more on the back but i feel like i don't know it just blends better with the blue personally though if i were to get this i would get the black one it's just kind of disappointing i wish that it did have the same old english logo on the front chest that would have been it for me right there it's still a fire piece nonetheless low key the price that this retails at determines if i want it or not if it's anywhere under 200 it's a possibility but it's probably not something that i'm gonna rely on i'm trying to save all my bread for these travis ones because obviously i did take the l on saturday we already know sneakers app was straight dookie and i tried on like four devices no success shit was just terrible bro shit was just a terrible morning but but it is what it is this jacket right here not bad definitely like both colorways and i'm interested to see that retail price point for it and last up we did already cover this piece which is the pool cue i what the fuck did i just say i for okay it's not bad honestly resale wise this week i feel like it's probably not the best the salvador dolly button up is gonna be worth a lot in that pink colorway down the line the playboy shit is ass the pool cue is gonna be worth good money in the future as well and retail is gonna be high as shit on that but 
but I would definitely recommend getting that if you're not in a rush to sell that New York jacket. I feel like that one's for the personal, but honestly, I haven't checked jean jackets with a similar design from the past. Dumb shits might be doing good. I honestly don't know. If I do check and throw it up, y'all will see, but if not, my bizzle. That's pretty much it, honestly. I don't feel like there's too much shit coming out. This might not be the full list. I honestly don't know yet. If there are any changes, I will update you tomorrow on Wednesday, but that pretty much does it for this video. If y'all did enjoy, go ahead and leave a like down below. Subscribe to the channel if you are new and would enjoy more of this type of content. Also, click the gleam link at the top of the description if you want to enter in the Supreme Kermit Canvas giveaway. And I'm going to catch y'all on the next one. Peace, stay up, and I'm out. Never see the sun, always see the night. They say they want a real one. They say they want a real one to make them feel young.